Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoony Pizzas here with another Pez 2018 video and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Master League and the first things you need to do. So the first thing you need to do is come down the system, go to autosave and enable your autosave. Okay? Many times I've started a league, um, you know, done all the things I'm about to show you, made some transfer, played a few games, next day I log in and there's no, uh, there's no, there's no uh, save. So that's the first thing you need to do. Secondly, go straight to training. Jump into training and change all these balanced to uh, a style card. So look at look at the stats that it's, it, that it's increasing. So for De Gea, I'd probably go defensive goalie. Okay. Bailey, all your center backs, choose build up because you want defensive prowess and ball winning. That's really important. Okay, so I'd set all those to all the centre backs to build up. Um, your left and right backs, um, I would go offensive. Uh, your defensive midfielder is anchor, because that's uh, that playing style is really important. So anchor will sit just between between defence and midfield. So you'll just sit there and hold. Um, midfielders, it's up to you. Um, I'd probably go, depending on the type of player, like Herrera, I'd probably go box to box. Pogba, box to box. Mkhitaryan, a whole player. Okay, so just get, make sure you get rid of all these balance though. Okay, I'm not going to do it now, but you get the, you get the idea. And choose something uh, that's going to be worthwhile. Okay, and, and just boost the stats that you want, so you sort of mould the player that you want them to be. Um, for someone really young, like Rashford, now him, I would probably go for focus training and put on speed, just to boost his speed. Get that to 99 as quickly as you can, okay? That's just a per personal thing I do. If you want, you can just put him as a fox in the box or, or gold poach or whatever you want. Okay, so that's your training. Next one is skill training. So hop into that and assign one of these. I tend to find... I tend to skip all these here. This is all skill moves, um, and and check to see if anyone needs knuckle shot. Um, some of the more important ones, like one touch pass, weighted pass, uh, pinpoint crossing, maybe not for Pogba in my opinion. He can have more, probably more of these um, skill moves add into his thing. But if there was like knuckle shot, that's something I'm like quite enjoy. Uh, maybe you like you enjoy doing Rabonas with uh, Mkhitaryan or something, so you can assign it to uh, the eligible player. Okay, and it tells you what the requirements are. So if I want low pump trajectory, goalkeeper has to be 80 or higher, and lofted pass must be 75 or higher. Okay, otherwise they're not eligible for that for that stat or that that skill. Okay, so that's that's the first two things I do. Youth team training, much like training, you can do it if you want. I don't tend to bother because um, they usually, if they're really good, they get promoted straight away to my squad. Um, anyway, regardless. Next is negotiations. So first thing I do is go into my team. Okay. And all I do here is anyone I want to sell um very quickly i do this i take these two because then you get really good offers for the youngsters i tend to um you know if i like two and zabi i quite like so i'll probably refuse all i'll probably keep him maybe maybe even loan him out so put him on the loan list joel castro i've got a number of goalies i if i want a quick sell then i put him on a transfer list okay so Martial, I'm happy to keep. Mata, he's getting old. So I'll tick these two boxes. Ashley Young, yeah. So if you're in no rush to sell, just tick those two boxes and you will get a really, really good offer um, if someone comes in. Okay, so this is all I'm going to do. Anyone I think is worth uh, offloading. Okay. Um, you know, like Rashford, I, w I definitely want to keep. Lukaku, definitely want to keep. Pogba, definitely want to keep. So I'd refuse all those, just as 
stop people bidding. And also it narrows it down that when they do want to come in for a player, they're only looking for the players you actually want to sell. If you forget and you leave Pogba like that, <coughs> you're going to get a wasted offer. So um, that will come in on him and it will be probably just below the asking price and you'll probably say, no, I'm not letting Pogba go for 25 million, 24 million. Okay, so that's... That's the uh, that's the first things I I tend to do, okay. And then it's a case of just going into advanced search and finding uh, the player for you. Um, and you can set up your scouts as well, so that's easy to do. So you go in here, you select a none, you enable it. You t you can search by position or bol bolster weak spots. So if I want to look for a, f a striker, centre forward or um, support striker. And then the area, with it, if you want to focus on a certain area, no. Um, you can find like up and coming um, youngsters or overall rating. Um, and then you've got budget. So consider uh, with the players within your, your budget. So basically anyone under 40 million. Or well, if you reject it, it will search, you know, it will find Neymar for 150 million or whatever. Okay. And then you just set that up and then your scout will go off and within a few days will come back with a, a bunch of players that are that are available for a quite a reasonable price. So um I got me I don't tend to do it because it just I just get interrupted by the uh the little messages coming through. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the end of the video. Um and that's the first things I do. So I hope that's a bit of an insight for you. And uh, I'm going to be doing lots more of these uh, Mass League um, insights, uh, insightful videos. So, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And I'll catch you in my next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.